Twin the World, two guys from Switzerland, and make sure you give them a follow. Check out their website, awesome, awesome content. Let's look at their style. So awesome, grand photos. And what they commonly do is they shoot in a way that the subject looks really, really small. So they position the subject so that the landscape looks so vast and makes the subject, makes the person feel small in its environment. So really cool style there. And for the most part, they're using natural colors, maybe just a bit of vibrance in there. But what's really going to make photos like this stand out is going to be where you apply contrast and lighting and composition rather than doing some crazy color work. So let's jump into Lightroom and see what we do. All right, so reference image, our image, pretty similar image, so this should be a pretty good edit. So I'm gonna leave exposure, I think it's pretty good, and I'm gonna bring up the contrast just a little. The images are really contrasty, but I wanna put contrast in differently. So highlights can come up. Shadows can come up. Whites can come up a bit. And I'm going to bring blacks down quite a bit. So, very contrasting. Saturation down. And now we're going to play with some curves. And I like to keep another point down here when you're doing these types of landscape shots. It just gives you a little bit extra control of those shadows. It's almost like contrast within the shadows and blacks. It gives you... Because otherwise, otherwise it's just a bit too gradual. I'm going to leave it like that for now and most likely come back to it later. So already our contrast looks way better before, after. Looking good. On to colors. Yeah, as I said, they use for the most part natural colors or they will just change it up a bit. There's no really strong, consistent color palette bring the aquas up a bit a tad and saturation I'm doing the the classic uh, desaturating everything like a horseshoe shape So I'm going to bring down the yellows, really bring down the greens. Blues down. And magenta can come up a bit. And that's what I meant by the curve. And onto luminance. And I'm gonna tadly bring up the greens. drop a few of the blues and bring up the magenta tad so on the split turning I'm only doing a tiny bit of split turning in the shadows so I'm just gonna put a bit of deep blue in there 
fall after so far. It's getting noticeably and noticeably closer. I'm going to really bring out the sharpening. But that's, that has sharpened the entire image too much. So what you can do, if you hold your Alt button, click this mask curve here, and it shows you exactly what you are going to sharpen. So sharpening only the really big lines when it's at 100, sharpening everything when it's down at about 5. I'm going to have it at about 50. So then it's sharpening most things, but it's leaving things such as the sky and all the really small lines alone and it's really sharpening these really big thick lines and moving on so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a slight veneer on it only pr pretty slight green I'm gonna leave green and dehaze, I'm going to put some dehaze in. Now, now our image is quite underexposed compared to this, and I've done that purposely because I want to add it back in where I want it. I want complete control of where I'm putting the contrast. So I'm going to do that by grabbing some filters now. And I want the light coming in from this direction, which I think it was already. Nice and feathered out. To get rid of the orange, come down here and click that. Now you can see better what you're doing. I always just leave a bit of warmth in there. If I'm adding exposure like that, looks just a bit more natural. I'm going to leave it like that. And then what you generally do is do the same, but the opposite on the other side. So about... like that I'm just going to bring down the exposure and yeah only the exposure and we are still looking under exposed in some areas but it's alright and I'm just going to add one more up here because just a plain white sky sometimes just looks I don't know a bit unnatural so what I'm going to do is just add I'm gonna feather it out nice I'm gonna take down the exposure and then I'm gonna take down the warmth because I want it kind of blue you can see there's a little bit of blue up here Just position it how you like it. it just adds a nice small veneer up there looking good so far so our next step is uh, circular filters and what I'm going to do I'm going to brighten up our subject To take your photography to the next level you want to think about lines in your image so my natural line my eye takes is sort of like up this path where this guy is going and then as if he's going to go walk up here or something so I'm going to position the light as if it's doing that I want the path nice and bright so I'm going to not add that much exposure
and then I'm going to do similar one up on our so we've sort of got two subjects in this image this little guy down here and then this big cliff here so I'm gonna bring this one out as well What I'm going to do is just a little bit of warmth. I'm going to bring up the shadows, take down the whites, and I'm going to bring up the blacks a bit. And then a bit of clarity adds a bit of pop and a bit of extra sharpness as that's a part of the image we want to be very sharp all right so and what i'm going to do with this one down here i'm going to feather it out now it looks much more natural before after so far and the next step I'm going to do is with the brush so now we're going to brush a few things and the first thing I'm going to brush is this guy don't know how to zoom in on him so I'm probably just going to have to brush him from this far out so I'm just going to, that's just going to have to be how I do it, I'm going to bring up the exposure, I'm going to bring up the contrast, and I'm going to leave it like that. Now he pops a bit more from the image, and he's our he's our prob almost our main subject. And the next thing I'm going to brush is I want to do some things to the mountains, so making my brush bigger with the bracket key if you come down here and click show selected mask overlay it's going to show you where you are brushing what I want to do is create a bit of pop and a bit of sharpness a bit of clarity so I'm going to come down to clarity, but I'm going to click off this box so I can see what I'm doing. Clarity 30. And then sharpness, I'm going to bring up a lot. And now we get a very sharp image exactly where we want it. done for that one the lighting looks pretty good there's one thing I want to do since we put light coming in from this direction up here I think it would look more natural if we had some shadows at the base of the cliff so that's where I brushed and then I'm just gonna play with the exposure and contrast. I think it looks a bit too much. I only brought it down a bit but I think because I brushed so hard it really applied it a lot. So I'm just going to keep it a little dark under that cliff. And that sort of adds to a nice line of where this guy's walking and then going up to the cliff. So, the, our last thing I think we want to do is we've got these really bad blues and purples that have appeared in these dark spots up here, and we only have two blue in the shadows. It's just, it's just something that's, I don't know, the camera might not have 
grabbed the colors right or we might have done something wrong so I'm just gonna grab the brush don't know how to zoom in exactly so I'm just gonna do it from this far out but you, you guys can be more precise and I'm just gonna brush everywhere where I don't like those purple colors And then what I'm going to do is just come down to saturation and bring it all the way down. And then I'm going to add some warmth in there. Because we're, because we're looking at tad, tad blue, even after taking all the saturation out, well, warmth is the opposite of blue. So I'm going to put some warmth in there, takes the blues out. And then maybe, yeah, a bit of exposure and done i'm gonna leave it like that yeah i think that's all i want to do to this image maybe we want to brighten up the bottom a bit more and just looking back over this i can tell our blacks aren't quite as black as his ones ours are looking a bit too faded I'm just going to mess around with a few of these. I'm going to leave our blacks there. Now they're a bit darker, but bit truer black. Now I'm just going to come down and take out quite a bit of sharpening because we're just looking a little over sharpened. Bring up the masking. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as that, guys. So I'm going to save this as a lot. No exposure, no white balance, and no filters. And create. So here's our before and after. Looking pretty good. Yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment down below what you guys want to see. Go give these guys a follow on Instagram. Links in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.